look at this. Huge amounts of metal. This thing's done some work, fellas. The next part I'm going to remove to clean this lathe up is this quick change gearbox. Under this panel is another Allen bolt that holds it on. What's cool about these lathes is it's the finest state that the Atlas Craftsman lathes reached. These are the last versions. And this particular, the commercial version, is quite a bit heavier. There we go. I can only guess how many metal shavings I'm going to find up in this quick change gearbox. I try not to skin my knuckles here. Now that one's not so tight. Glad it didn't break off. I don't know if this lathe was... I just don't know if this lathe was ever cared for. But that's okay. We can rebuild it. We can make it new again. Better than new. We can make it a six million dollar lathe. Alright, so now we're just hanging on the banjo. nice thing about making a video of your projects like this, I'll always be able to look back and see what kind of screw was in every location. I'm holding a nut on the back side. Now, good practice when you're working on things is put stuff together that was together when you can. So I know a square nut went there now. I'll clean this up and leave the pieces with each other. This door is kind of in my way to get into this fastener. I think I'm just going to go ahead and remove the door too. I should have an air ratchet for this work. Let me wrench off my old gray lady tailstock. I see that's a stud on there. We're going to put that fastener back. I'm going to take this over to the parts washer and do something about all this gunk. Look at that! Piles! I wash the big chunks off my hands before I stick them in my nice rubber gloves that I use for the parts cleaning machine. So let's take a look at this. I haven't turned it over yet. Yeah, there's metal shavings up there. It's not as bad as I really thought it was. But boy, it's, it's a grimy mess. Not a bad idea to tear your lathe down once in a while and thoroughly clean it. I'll probably end up taking this, complete, this part completely down. But for now, I just want to get the worst of everything off of it. But you can't hardly get any work done when things are this dirty. You just can't touch yourself, can't touch your tools. It pays to clean something so you can work on it. That's not glamorous. But she'll be glamorous when she's done. color starting to show through. I think there's a lathe under there boys and girls. I think there's a beautiful tool. Might become a permanent addition to my shop if I don't get the other 
the pristine one I tracked down. So I got to do a good job on it. Just like it was going to be mine, because it might be mine. I hope I'm not boring you too much. Here's that cover and how filthy it is. This is a lot of what fixing up a lathe is. Even if you buy a used one, I mean, none of them are very clean. This is just basically a fact of life. Unless you buy a pristine, freshly restored cherry lathe, you might as well be prepared to do this. But it's part of, uh, isn't it part of developing a relationship with your lathe? Don't you think you should have a relationship with your lathe where you know, you know it in and out? It's like a best friend or a lover. I think you should. This is how we get to know each other. Now, I ain't done much at all. And look, look how much better that looks already. Wow. I can touch that part with my bare naked fingers. There'll be 20 pounds of metal shavings in the bottom of this parts cleaner. You need a parts washer, fellas. It's amazing what you can do with one. Work on your stuff. Spend less time washing your hands and more time working on your stuff. Well, this pig's almost too heavy to lift at 10 o'clock at night when I'm all tired. But there you go. Worked on another project all day today on an Airstream. And this is the only thing I've gotten done today on my lathe project, but I try to get something done every day, even if it's a little thing. I've got the thing turned over so we can remove the feet and get the head off. There's a couple of Allen bolts, one on each side here. Inside here is a hex head bolt if you can see that. <laughs> what an amazing mess this is. Look at this. Huge amounts of metal. This thing's done some work fellas. Well I should be sleeping for work tomorrow but it's hard to make myself stop. Anyways, got the feet off here, got them cleaned up. I'm down to the bed, the spindle, the pan, and uh, wow, I'm getting somewhere. Um, let's see, the spindle's not going to go anywhere, but I've got it loose, but this bed could fall, so I want to hang on to it. go. So I really am going to come back to this tomorrow. Might have to make a tool to draw the spindle out of here. I've loosened all the set screws and it's, the spindle's still stuck. But that'll be a tool I can use for other lathe work so probably make a tube with a washer, piece of all thread that goes all the way through a washer to grab this, a nut to turn to pull the spindle out. Almost down to where I can clean the pan. I noticed on this lathe we have the indexing holes but no um, no place for the pin to go in and latch into them. I don't really understand why that would be omitted from one of these lathes. But nonetheless it is. Something else I noticed that's a problem. These pulleys are very worn. So I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to address that. I could cut them again and just make the diameter a little smaller. Or I could machine that off of there and shrink on um, a fresh pulley, which would be the best way to do it. Here's the lathe bed sticking out of my parts cleaner. Model number 3991. Atlas Press. 
Now I'm seeing green on the lathe. And there's places where green is clearly on top of the gray. And there's other places where the green is clearly under the gray. Or maybe it's under the gray everywhere, I don't know. But I did notice online that some of these lathes, there's some more pieces I've done. There's the feet. Some of these lathes came with the Atlas badge and were green. Do you think I should paint it green or gray? I was planning on painting it gray, but now I'm not sure. So there's an update in the saga of the Atlas commercial cabinet under motor lathe.